So 4,000 years ago, this would have been molten lava where we're standing right now. Today, it's just an empty volcano right here in the middle of Iceland. Incredible, beautiful colors. You can see the continental plates coming together. Absolutely amazing experience. You've got to check it out. Hey everybody. Hey, we recently had a trip to Iceland and we had a crazy adventure there where we actually went down inside of a volcano. It was wild. And if you are planning a trip to Iceland, we want to talk about our experience so you have an idea of what to expect. First of all, just throw out any expectations that you may have. It's what, the only one in the world yes, that's like this? Absolutely. According to the folks According who run the tour you. anyway, there are none other on earth like this. So apparently this volcano erupted about 4,000 years ago, so it's been pretty dormant for quite a while, which is good if you were <laughs> a little apprehensive like I was. So you're probably like, all right, well seriously, what the hell am I supposed to expect then if I'm gonna do this tour? Which is crazy expensive, by the way, yeah. but we'll get to that later on. The first thing that happened for us is, of course, you have a shuttle come pick you up at the hotel. Yep, exactly. And then uh, it drops you off at what they call the ski camp. And basically there they put you in groups of six to seven people and you get to put on rain gear, which you definitely want. Because even though we did the tour in August, it was very right. rainy and very cold. These raincoats, they look very much like something out of Breaking Bad. It's this crazy <laughs> yeah. yellow. And uh, so you're walking in this Lava field. Lava field. Yeah. Which by itself is quite beautiful, really. Beautiful and alien, because yeah. again, there's it nothing really, like that out it there. It looks like you're on Mars. And then to see the moss out there, even though it was super cloudy and crappy outside, <laughs> um, just that moss had a very distinct color that only you really see in Iceland. Yeah. But as we're walking, no one was really able to talk to each other because the wind is just beating in your face. Just every man and, for themselves. <laughs> yeah. It's a moderate level of fitness wise because you are going to be walking for 45 to 15 minutes. And apparently it's one of two ways to get to the actual volcano. So the other one is a helicopter. So if you can afford a helicopter ride, if they offer that option, <laughs> go for it. Yeah. But uh, seeing how expensive <laughs> this was to actually walk 45 minutes to 15 minutes. Like yeah, <laughs> and it may, maybe they say 45 to 50 minutes. I want to say it's really more like an hour because I mean, we were out there for what felt like it an felt eternity. And especially with that crappy and weather. Wind and the yeah, and you know, we they gave us these face masks that we put on just to protect your face <laughs> from everything. Apparently, this route is really only open from yeah. what, May? From May to October 31st. It's shut down during the winter because yeah. the weather is so horrendous up yeah. there. So just be aware of that, that if you are planning on doing this, you want to make sure you do it in the summertime because it will not be available during the winter time. It's a two miles to three kilometer walk. And that's one way, by the way. After you brave through the elements, if you had a day like ours, I've seen some of the other videos online and those people had a beautiful sunny day. <laughs> but you know, there's something to that. Like we at least had that experience. At least if you have crappy weather like this, yeah, it's like you survived like it. it. So the last uh, 10 minutes of the actual walk, it's an elevation of 150 feet or 50 meters. So it's quite high. Mm -hmm. So th they make you work for it and then you work even more to get to the, what they call the base camp. So we finally got to base camp, which was amazing. Uh, it's this little hut, really. <laughs> Everyone hangs up their rain slickers, and so you get a chance to get some hot coffee, hot tea, hot chocolate, um, and two different kinds of soup. There's either a vegetarian soup or an Icelandic meat stew. Which is delicious, by the way. So when you've been really cold outside. Yeah, you know, it really hits the spot. Yeah, so. so we got to warm up and then we got to start putting safety gears. So That's like right. a harness and helmets. It's cold inside the volcano. Right. It's actually 37 Fahrenheit inside the volcano or three Celsius. So, you know, I, that's regardless of when you're going. So finally, when we get called up, we, you know, we get all geared up and we make that final push up to the, to the top of the volcano. When you're there, you can, on a clear day, from the photos that we've seen online, you can actually see all the way to Reykjavik. But on our day, you could not. It just looked like you were very isolated, beautiful, mystical. We get to the top and we cross this 
little metal pathway. That was, I think, the scariest part because <laughs> you're literally hanging over that crater. Yeah, like yeah, you can exactly. see through it. You can see your death, so you can yeah. stare it down. <laughs> and you have to cross this to get to a lift that's going to drop yeah. you down all the way to the yeah, bottom. Yeah, four hundred of... feet. Yep. So just to give you an idea, they actually showed us in like the brochures or whatever. The thing is deep enough to fit the Statue of Liberty. The ride was pretty smooth. I, I was pretty scared. And I mean, I would still be scared because I hate heights. Mm -hmm. But the actual lift that brings you down to the volcano was, was pretty smooth, I think. Yeah. Are you ready? Are ready. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> and super quiet, like when you get past all the windiness mm -hmm. and you kind of start getting down into the crater. Yeah. It's just it's serene. Silent. as you go down, they have some lights at the bottom of the volcano shooting up so that the cave is lit. That You can see these amazing colors all over the walls. I mean, there's purple, there's yellow, there's like these reds where the iron was, there's, uh, the yellow is sulfur. It really sulfur. looks like, uh, like the inside of a flame almost. It's true. Uh, one interesting um, thing in particular is there are pockets of black on the walls. Mm -hmm. And the reason why, according to our guides, is that it got so hot, the magma, when this chamber was filled with magma, got so hot that it actually sucked the color out oh of the rock. It's very scary. Very scary. <laughs> For us on the day that we were going down, because it was raining so much, the water was dripping down all the way through. There was a bunch of mist on different layers. When you get down there, it's really quiet. And since it's such a small group of people, six people, so you really get to explore the entire volcano. And you have actually about 45 minutes inside the volcano. Woo! <laughs> Welcome to the volcano. Okay. We're let out and we can wander around. Um, they have some things cordoned off so you can't go outside those ropes. Mm -hmm. But you can see where the um, plates are coming together. Mm -hmm. And you know, the guides are very knowledgeable. They told us everything about just the way the chamber was formed, how the magma kind of drained out of it and it quickly cooled down, if I remember correctly. What's cool too is you could see the other group coming down as well. That was kind of nice to see the, how tiny it looked That's true. from way down here. <laughs> That's true. And again, that lift when it was yeah. coming, it was silent. The best way I know how to describe it is it was all very alien. That's true. Uh, it's weird all to say, it. but it's, it's very accurate. The lava field, yeah. the moss, <laughs> the whipping weather, the inside of this magma chamber. In fact, when we were looking down on some of the spotlights, I started thinking of that movie, Aliens, and I was just picturing the way some of those spotlights looked. It made me think of that movie. Just be ready for really a once in a lifetime yeah, adventure. Yeah. So the actual tour was, like, like we mentioned, very expensive. So expect to pay uh, between $400, and that was at the time, so it might be more now, but $400 a person, or about 320 euros a person. Yeah. Uh, so again, very pricey. So if you have a group of four or five plus people, expect to, they don't really do group discounts, so expect to pay that uh, a, a good chunk of money. It is a huge chunk, <laughs> and just a heads up, that is very much representative of how Iceland yes. as a whole is. It was the most expensive yes. place we've ever yes. been to. Yeah. We were trying to cut down on costs everywhere we could. We even <laughs> went to like- Tours are the most pricey yeah. part of Iceland. We, we even went to the grocery store to get like cup of noodles, and even those were like super expensive. <laughs> like $7 for a cup of noodle. <laughs> just be aware of that. Yeah, but yes, just so Iceland is pricey. Everything you do there. Although that be. tour was one of the priciest though, to it be was. fair. <laughs> so was it worth it? I think it was. I yeah. think it was, but um, obviously if you, you can't afford that, then, you know, save. Well, just in general, save before going to Iceland. That's definitely because yeah. it's so expensive. You're just gonna 
just cry, yeah. <laughs> cry on the way home. Um, the fact that it is unique, um, it's worth it, and uh, and that's and that's a wild statement because it's paying four hundred dollars per, per, I mean eight hundred dollars yeah, to go the, do this is crazy. Yeah, but um, it's kind of a romantic getaway though in a way. A I, I wouldn't do it with teenagers. I don't know if they would appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, I mean, maybe they would, but I don't yeah. I don't know if I would have appreciated it as a teenager. But yeah. as a couple, it's kind of romantic to yeah. just see the excitement and share it together. You know, I'm, I'm sure a family would appreciate it too. It just depends on yeah. them. Newlyweds? Yeah. Newlyweds. I think that'd be a pretty uh, cool experience, yeah. you know? And by the way, you have to do this tour through that company. You cannot just venture out on your own and just go to that volcano. Number one, I think you just get lost. <laughs> Uh, and number two, you just have to go through them. It's just the only option. If you go into the volcano, you want sturdy shoes. Preferably. Mine, <laughs> my like Indiana Jones-like <laughs> shoes, got totally, well, totally leather. beat to hell. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I got huge holes in them. And, you know, just be prepared to have this happen. <laughs> to your shoes if you don't bring the right footwear yeah. because it is extremely, extremely rugged terrain. And uh, yeah, I had little sneakers on. They were drenched though. So. Right. I mean, your shoes tell a story, <laughs> but you're not gonna be wearing these again unless uh, you don't care about what you're doing. But you know, you certainly can't wear shoes with holes in them. So I actually kept these just to warn people yeah. to have the right <laughs> shoes if you go. So there you have it. So that was a PSA for you guys. There you go. You're welcome. <laughs> so there you have it. That is it, guys. Uh, so, so we hope that this has been somewhat helpful. But you know what? We want to hear from you too. If you actually went to the volcano, tell us what you think. I mean, maybe you didn't think it was worth it or maybe you did. I don't know. But leave it in the comments because I'd love to see it. I know you yeah. would. Yeah, or if we missed anything at all. So that's right. let us know. Yeah. So. Uh, you know, any kind of tips maybe that we left out that somebody else might find interesting. Yeah. yeah. In the meantime, check out our other video. We'll be posting some about Reykjavik, Iceland and then other countries like Rome, Italy. Uh, just so check us out and uh, click the like button and the subscribe button as well. And there you have it. So hey, thanks so much guys. Thanks Jean. so much. Bye.